Welcome to ABC 31 News Tonight. I'm Scott Beadle. Thousands of Americans are starting their work cleaning up after a hurricane again after Nate struck the Gulf Coast late Saturday night as a Category 1 storm. This is the fourth hurricane to make landfall in the U.S. this year. Many people are worrying about how FEMA and the Trump administration can keep up with this growing number of natural disasters. ABC's Maggie Rooley reports in our big story tonight. Nate came in fast, slamming into the Gulf Coast as a Category 1 hurricane, making landfall twice, first in Louisiana, then a second time in Biloxi, Mississippi. Heavy rains and storm surge battered the coast, flooding many casinos in Biloxi, Mississippi. Water still coming up. Filling up parking lots with five feet of seawater. The cars left behind tossed like toys. Churning up a water spout off the coast of Alabama. Just as quickly as it hit, the storm moved on, traveling north and quickly downgrading to a tropical depression, but still bringing more rain and even destructive tornadoes in the Carolinas. And he got trapped under the roof, just overwhelming. It's very scary. It is the hardest thing I've seen in my life. Nate's only the latest in a string of destructive and deadly hurricanes to hit the U.S. this year. The administrator of FEMA saying the nonstop onslaught of rough weather has been a challenge. Nearly 85 percent of my entire agency is deployed right now. Uh, we're still working massive issues in Harvey, uh, Irma, as well as the issues in Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands, and now this one. Some local officials are criticizing FEMA and the Trump administration for not doing enough, notably the mayor of San Juan, Puerto Rico. But FEMA Administrator Brock Lawson doesn't seem phased. We filtered out the mayor a long time ago. We don't have time for the political noise. Thankfully, scenes like this one are not that common along the Gulf Coast. The mayor here in Biloxi says his city survived because they prepared after Katrina and they prepared for Nate. Maggie Ruley, ABC News, Biloxi, Mississippi. The Senlo Chamber of Commerce's new campaign, Come Together Locally, is working toward encouraging residents to eat, shop, and do business with local establishments. It's not only obviously uh, good for this small business man and woman, but it keeps our tax dollars churning here in central Louisiana. Uh, these are the same guys who put uh, their name on the back of your child's uh, baseball shirt, are uh, the ones that are involved in the schools, putting, uh, uh, supporting your football team, your baseball team, and putting those banners out on the football fields. You know, we need, if we don't have them, we're going to have a big gap in uh, the way our, our community uh, grows and the way it evolves. To learn more about the campaign and view the Come Together Locally promotional video, visit cometogetherlocally.com. Alexandria police say they arrested a convicted felon over the weekend inside a home with a gun. It's 21-year-old Darius Mitchell of Alexandria. Police say they found him asleep on the couch in a home on Eastwood Drive and learned he was not supposed to be there. He's charged with resisting arrest by false information and illegal possession of a handgun. This past Saturday, Senla residents went the extra mile to race for a cure. The Susan G. Komen Race for a Cure event takes place every October to raise awareness for breast cancer. Thousands of runners, joggers, and walkers take to the streets to race and honor survivors and those still fighting the disease. It's walking. It's just an honorary thing to do. Um, and it also helps raise money for the, the area, the local area here for breast cancer to uh, help with diagnosis, um, to help survivors get to their trips and, and um, get to their chemo treatments. It's, it's very important. It's, it's more or less a fundraiser type thing. And to participate is just a wonderful feeling. That race raised more than $1,000. To make an impact of your own, you can donate by visiting info komenorg Well, storm chances are sticking around, along with some more heat and humidity. Meteorologist Kim Walker is here with a first look at our forecast. That's right about the heat and humidity. It did climb up to the 90s across the region, and with the humidity, it felt much warmer than that. There are a few showers and thunderstorms, mainly to our east, but there is a slight chance that we could see some as we head into the evening hours, and then more chances of rain tomorrow ahead of a cold front that will be moving in. At 7 o'clock, look for readings around 72 degrees, partly cloudy skies, and then we're going to see a chance for a few thunderstorms by noon. Temperature readings will be around 85 degrees for your lunch 
shower. Our high will be once again around 90 degrees and then by 5 o'clock we drop back down to around 87 degrees. But notice those winds will be shifting and coming from the northwest an indication that that cold front will be moving in. We'll talk more about the cold front and the effects of it coming up in just a little bit. All right, thank you, Kim. The Greater Realtors Association and the Family Justice Center were pleased with their turnout for a fundraiser this weekend. The mission of the Family Justice Center of Central Louisiana is to stop family violence, make victims safe, hold batterers accountable, and provide long-term support for victims and children through coordinated services. Central Louisiana Realtor Association, um, we do through, uh, many fundraisers throughout the year and um, really just reach out to myself, uh, Virginia Rochelle, um, anyone at the organization and we, I mean that's basically what we love to do, um, even though we do sell real estate, we really do love to raise money for any organization in the community. If you're interested in how your organization can get involved, visit the Greater Central Louisiana Realtors Association Facebook page for more information. On September 30th, more than 125 runners met on the beach in Destin, Florida for the third Never Forget Run, hosted by the Andrew Weathers Memorial Foundation. That foundation is named in honor of Andrew Weathers, a Louisiana native who was killed in Afghanistan in 2014 at the age of 30. The run raises funds to send families of fallen soldiers to Arlington National Cemetery. Since its beginning back in 2015, the foundation has raised more than $95,000 and sent four families on trips to Arlington to visit their loved ones' graves. Only one doctor brings health right to your home. Dr. Oz. Every day is a new chance for change, and everyone can start right now with all new ways to feel encouraged, inspired, hopeful, confident, proud, positive, special, feel better every day. Make an appointment with Dr. Oz. Check in for your daily checkup. Dr. Oz, airing weekdays at 11 on KLAX TV. Welcome back, everyone. We have a few showers and thunderstorms, mainly to our south and the southeast, as you can see right there. We did have a few close to us in the earlier evening hours, but I think most of that is now pushing off to the east a little bit. There are a few that are popping up just to our south, and those could move into our area, but I think our chances of rain will be very slim, but they're still there. Our future radar is showing most of the rain will continue to uh, press off to the east as they develop, and it looks like things will stay mainly dry for our our area through the midnight hour or even into the overnight so tomorrow morning we're going to start off with a little bit of patchy fog and then lots of sunshine during the day and that will help to warm things up but uh, we are expecting uh, the chances of rain to continue so you notice around nine o'clock some of these thunderstorms will be popping up and that's because a cold front will come through and then that will bring chances of rain to our area so temperatures are still going to be hot but they're not going to be quite as hot as they were today so some patchy fog developing in the early morning hours and then partly sunny a few thunderstorms possible especially in the afternoon mostly sunny and a little bit cooler on your Wednesday and then sunny and our warmth will return by the end of the week here's a look at your temperatures right now 88 degrees in Alexandria 87 in Lake Charles Leesville checking in at 86 degrees so temperatures still very mild out there our dew points are in the mid 70s making it very oppressive out there so you know uh, it still it feels very sticky but here's the cold front as we move into tomorrow, we're pushing through just that northern edge of the state and then eventually pushing through the rest of the area during the day. But we do have chances of rain. In addition to that, ahead of that cold front, it is going to be humid and it's going to be warm. But behind it, temperatures will be a little bit cooler and our air won't be quite as humid. So here's your forecast. Temperatures tonight will drop down to around 72 degrees, partly cloudy skies with a chance maybe of a shower or two. But I think that's pretty much it. Tomorrow, there could be an afternoon thunderstorm thunderstorm. Temperatures, though, ahead of it will be around 90 degrees, so it's going to be hot and humid once again, but then that cold front will be pushing in and so will help to cool things out. So by Wednesday, we dip down to around 85 degrees with partly cloudy skies and then lots of sunshine returning for your Wednesday. We'll stay in the 80s through Thursday, then those 90s creep back in by the end of the week. Lots of sunshine for your Friday. Over the weekend, we're going to stay with dry weather. Temperatures will be in the 90s and then another system comes through and that will help to knock things down by early next week with highs in the mid 80s with plenty of sunshine. Scott.
Thank you, Kim. If you're a parent still wondering how to talk to your kids about the tragic events in Las Vegas last week, you're not alone. Pediatricians offer some helpful tips for that difficult conversation. With more, here's Serena Marshall. Violence on television, on social media, perhaps even in conversations on the playground. National tragedies can affect us all, but they can have a particular effect on your kids. Talking to your kids about violent acts like Sunday's mass shooting in Las Vegas is never easy, but the American Academy of Pediatrics offers some tips that may help you communicate with your children. First, be honest. Kids need information just like adults. Start by asking them what they already know and try to provide simple and direct responses. Tailoring to their age is key. Second, monitor any media exposure. Keep young children away from violent imagery on social media and TV. For teenagers, maintaining an open line of communication may be more appropriate. Third, let your children know they are safe and that adults are working to protect them. Remind them these events are rare. It's important to reassure and comfort them during times of crisis. It's also a good idea to continue these conversations over a period of time. And remember to leave a door open for your child to come back and discuss it later. Surgery to repair meniscus tears in the knee is one of the most unnecessary and overused medical treatments, according to the University of Maryland School of Medicine. Researchers published a list of tests and treatments that most patients can probably do without. It includes overtreatment of prostate cancer, overprescribing antibiotics, and cardiac imaging for low risk patients with chest pain. A new study on kidney donations in the U.S. finds 20% of the organs cannot be used because of tissue damage. Researchers say usually too much time passes from when the organs are chilled and then warmed up again. Coming up, NSU football coach Jay Thomas talks about that heartbreaking loss to Nichols. To you, it's just an old coat, but to an underprivileged child, it's a warmer winter. Please help us collect coats for kids before the cold months get here. You can drop off new or gently used coats at a location near you. All coats are cleaned and distributed right here in our community. The KLAX Coats for Kids Drive is sponsored by First Federal Bank, Southern Heritage Bank, Bank of Montgomery, Kramer Funeral Home, Take 5 Oil Change, South Park Cleaners, and LaSalle Printing and Office Supply. To the football field where NSU is coming off yet another bitter defeat. That happened this weekend. The defense gave up the go-ahead touchdown with less than four minutes left, and the offense turned the ball over deep in Nichols territory to end the game, handing NSU another harsh loss. It does. It hurts a lot. It really does. It hurts for these kids and coaches. Work really hard and um, to lose it in that fashion, the way we lost it. Played a great football game, and uh, it's tough. It's tough to come up on the short end. And as your junior, Cheyenne Brown was selected today to the preseason All-South and Conference team. The 6'2 junior was named second team All-Conference. Brown averaged almost 15.7 rebounds a game for the Demons and expects to take another leap this year. Lady Demons opened their season on November 10th against Ole Miss. As temperatures today do soar into the 90s. Tomorrow is going to be in the 90s once again, but we do have a chance for a few scattered showers and thunderstorms as a cold front approaches. With that cold front, temperatures will drop down into the mid 80s on Wednesday and Thursday. Plenty of sunshine, though, toward the end of the week, and we're going to see plenty of sunshine this weekend as well. All right, thank you, Kim. Thanks for joining us. Have a great night. Stay connected with KLAX ABC 31. Visit us online anytime. Get today's top stories and trending topics. Like us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. See our pics on Instagram. Watch us on YouTube. And make KLAXTV.com your home for local news and information. Plus, download the KLAX weather app for your smartphone or tablet. Get live current conditions, radar maps, alerts, and more. More ways to stay connected with KLAX TV. Wait, 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 wait! <laughs> oh, I can't get enough of this video. Right this minute is TV's number one daily viral video show. Right this minute. Watch Right This Minute, weekdays at 5 on KLAX TV.